because I just want you to see a couple things. You've got some inlaid for, uh, things around here. Um, let me show you. This right here is a five million dollar laser cutting machine. It cuts veneers, it cuts inlays for parts. If that one machine in China was in this country, it'd be the top two percent value of all furniture factories in this country. Just that one machine. This is the high tech part of these inlays that you see. You might see it might be hand inlays. It might just be uh, borders and stuff like that. But this is. I'll show you this machine. This is rare to ever get this footage because these machines usually smoke really bad. And uh, there was enough wind blowing through, and uh, cameras won't focus in smoke. It's just cutting parts to be hand inlaid. This is the high tech part of that. So whenever you see an inlay, a machine's probably cut it like this. This is a long straight thing. You'll see a, it'll, it'll cut two and a half hours on that one veneer. There's one that's already done. Now I wanted to show you that for a reason. You can't lay them up with the machine. And I'll show you that being done. All the stuff that you see, here's how it's done. Now here's what you have to understand about inlays. These are pieces of wood and they're shrinking and they're swelling. It can cut it perfectly but they won't fit a lot of times because the moisture content and the wood species are different. They shrink and swell differently. It is the worst puzzle you've ever put together in your life. This is one veneer that's been cut out. The white you see behind it is double stick tape that they put and then they'll inlay all the little pieces. I want you to see it. This lady got three pieces in five minutes. I saw ladies work a whole hour and a half and not get one piece to fit. And that's why I'm showing you this one. If you like to do puzzles, this is your job. If you think it's slave labor, look how good her nails look and she's wearing jewelry. Okay. If you like puzzles, here's your game. Yeah, and all the color stuff. He's really good. Guy Lippy got so excited when she hit the third one, he took a photograph, you'll see the flash go off and she did. You see it doesn't fit. We'll try another one. There's over 150 people in this room doing this job. I was in there for six hours and never saw one of these finished. If you scrape that, you that spill something. Man, but man, what are they what's putting it used in it? for? What was that? What are they putting in it? What is that inlay from? Oh, what is this? What they're putting in? These little pieces? Yeah. That's actually maple. This is walnut. Okay. And they're putting maple in there. Ma the grainier a wood is, the more it shrinks and swells. So the walnut shrinks and swells a whole lot more than maple does. And that's where the problem is. But that You have to have different species to get different looks. If you scratch the top of this or ruin the top of this, who's going to fix it in this country? Who's got a $5 million machine to cut a new car? Nobody. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because you're not selling protection permits on case goods you have to be shot. 